We got the power tong here. Two 20 pound propane tanks in there. Solar charge area, batteries underneath. We got the rock guard right here. Through storage. Stabilizing jacks. Stabilizing jack on this side. Nitrogen filled tires. The awning. Speakers out there too. Stabilizing jack. Spare tire. Backup camera prepped. Back entrance for the bunk. This is where you can put the kayaks. Great thing. City water connection. Bedroom. Storage in the bedroom, under the bed. the <clears throat> furnace there you can see you can activate 4g lte wi-fi there that'd be an upgrade that you could do here's how you do the slide out this is what it looks like with it closed you're still able to reach the fridge while it's closed, so that's a nice benefit. Here you can see the residential sink. Got the stove top there, three burner stove top. Oven. Here's the space up top. As you can see, you can plug something in the back up here, whether it's an air fryer, coffee pot, whatever you're looking for. There's the plug for it as well. There's another one there. Microwave. Oven. Stove. Refrigerator. 12 volt electric refrigerator as well. Freezer. You have the dinette, it turns into either a bed or the dinette. The couch. Turns into a bed very easily. Shelf space in the bunk room. TV hookup if you want to use this room for that. Plugs down there as well. See a ladder to get up to the top bunk. We got inducted heat right there. Ducted air conditioner with a residential filter inside of it as well. It's 
Smoke detectors, carbon monoxide alarms, safety. Pan little pantry here. Nice size. Heat in here as well. You got a fan, hangers, and we can air it out, cool down, turn it on. Very easy. Water pump, water heaters, sink, and storage underneath. Radio there, USP plugs, more storage area. 